Today I'm coming from the Al or I almost said Alaska, from the Pakistan India border, where we're gonna watch the uh, border ceremony. This is a border that's got quite a bit of tension behind it because um, India and Pakistan were once ruled as a single entity under the British, um, but in the split where they made a solely Muslim country of Pakistan and a country for everybody in India, uh, there was essentially a genocide that happened. Oh, you can see some of the guys in their uh, uniforms over there. Zoom in on that real quick. But, yeah, so basically there was a genocide that happened and this thing, the Punjab, this is one of the flashpoints. Jahin! Jahin! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this was this was basically one of the flashpoints where a lot of people died because actually the Punjab, while it is one of the most well-known provinces I think in India, outside of India, um, it is unfortunately split in half. Majority of it going to Pakistan, with a smaller part being now in India. So the majority of Punjabis are actually now in Pakistan, but. Uh, the Punjab has historically been like the home of the Sikhs and it fought against the British a lot harder than a lot of other regions did. That doing, coming down to a lot of different factors including the Sikhs being a very like warlike people, um, very militaristic people I should say. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see this performance that is basically done every single day uh, between two separate countries that pretty much hate each other, honestly, despite being essentially the same people, with the only difference being religion. And it's not even really a difference because in India there's still literally hundreds of millions of Muslims. I think it has one of the biggest Muslim populations in the entire world. So had they just stayed together, because it would also have included Bangladesh, had they stayed together, there would just be a bigger Muslim voting bloc inside of India. And in fact, right now, the uh, Muslim population as a percentage is growing faster than the Hindu population of uh, India. So they would potentially have the electoral possibility of being the, like in charge, like totally in charge if they wanted, if they had stayed. But obviously now, those possibilities are long gone. There will never be a unification of Pakistan and India ever again. It's it's too far gone. They fought too many wars, there's too much bad blood. I don't think that they could ever be reunited, which is unfortunate. I do think it, this is an, you know, this is an outsider speaking, so put some salt on it, take some salt with this, a big old lump of it. But I think they should be one country, along with Bangladesh and maybe a couple other places, but I'm not gonna get into that because the other places weren't a part of the Raj, so they weren't necessarily in, uh, in a single union with them in the past. But they got an armored car here. They have a bunch of soldiers over there. We're actually here with, if you remember our videos in Gwalior when I was there, um, the guy who showed us around, Raja, he, his brother is actually a soldier who's stationed here. He's part of the IED team for bomb disposal for this area. And he also does like crowd control for these vents. So, he uh, was kind enough to bring us here. He took us up here on his motorcycle. We got VIP access. We came up way closer on a vehicle than anybody else did. Everybody else is over here walking. But I know I've rambled. Probably didn't, won't use all this. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see how it comes off in the video. I saw people with the Indian flag painted on their face, so I had to come get one myself. And there you have it. All right, let's let's get in there. Let's see what's going on because I see some flag waving right now, and I'm missing it. So I was walking towards the general admission, and. The soldiers saw me, they pulled me aside, I showed them that I was an American veteran and I got VIP access. So I get to go in this way instead of that way with everybody else. So that's going to be great. Alright, well, 
We're walking up. Everybody's dancing right now. So that's exciting. I want to go get in on that. This is my host. He's, he's taking us in. This is the guy who brought us here. He's a really great guy. He's showing us around.
So I'm going to take a quick look through the border museum that they have here, the Atari border. Here you go. You can see the uniforms we just saw out there, closer up, as well as mannequins of different uh, Indian soldiers and this guy. So I think the point of this display is kind of just to show like the huge diversity in Indian borders. In some areas you're going to have the Himalayas up against like Nepal and uh, China and stuff like that. Mostly China is going to be the issue there. You're going to have jungles out by like uh, Bangladesh and you're going to have desert like in south of here down by Pakistan. Huge variety. These guys have to be ready for a lot of different uh, placements. So one thing that sets the BSF apart from a lot of other border security agencies in the world is that they are essentially fighting a uh, a slow, slow, small-scale war non-stop, right? Because they constantly have to deal with uh, terrorism coming from both Bangladesh and Pakistan, as well as like incursions by the Chinese on a very, very regular basis up in the uh, Himalayas. So these guys are constantly, out of all military units, probably one of the ones being most actively engaged in combat out of all making it very different than like U.S. border and customs who, you know, if there was a war they would run away. That, that, they wouldn't fight. In the footsteps of giants. So the cost of that museum when you go through it is 10 rupees. It's definitely worth it. It's right outside and it helps support the Indian government. So do it. So behind me is ac the actual physical border. Uh, line of India and Pakistan. This is actually an internal border for Punjab, like I was saying. It's Punjab either side. It's very unfortunate that these people had their homes separated, family separated, based on religion. But it's the world we live in. All right, that's it. There's going to be a huge crowd meeting now. So we're going to be leaving with the crowd. I hope you guys enjoyed the ceremony. The Indian side was kind of like a party. Um, like, comment, subscribe. That's it for me for today.